Bud Tower Gardens, a picturesque place of serenity, beauty, and historic architecture. Not necessarily the first place that most people would think of taking their children. Okay, but we did. All right, we have another trip back to the potty. This time it's an emergency. Are we crazy? Explore. And on top of that, today we're gonna do things a little bit differently. Today I'm gonna take the children to the playground, which is usually her responsibility. That's my job. And she is going to give you a tour of the botanical garden, which is usually my responsibility. And we're gonna see how that goes. I can already hear Anthony trying to chase Pierce down, <laughs> just laughing on the inside and the outside because that is usually what I'm dealing with while we're filming videos. And also it is forecasted to be a really rainy day, which is disappointing. So we need to explore this entire garden before the rain comes. So I'm not really sure how this is going to go because to be honest, I am pretty introverted. So I think a lot of different things, but I don't always say them on camera. And for most of our videos, I'm pushing the stroller, I'm feeding the kids, I'm taking care of them, you know, making sure they stay out of trouble and don't destroy places. That's usually my job, and so it's going to be interesting to see how today turns out. Let's go water. Pierce didn't care about the alligator. He only cares about the fountain, so he's coming back to the water. The children are going to head to the playground, and now Elena is going to try to navigate the gardens all by herself. And hopefully Anthony can navigate the kids all by himself. I showed him where the snacks were in the bag, so that's really all that matters. This is already such a beautiful area. The parking lot is even gorgeous. There's giant oak trees with Spanish moss. So beautiful, even as you're driving in. Kind of disappointed that it's so rainy today because I feel like this place would be even more beautiful in the sunlight, but it is Florida. You kind of just have to take what you can get. I can already hear Anthony trying to chase Pierce down, <laughs> just laughing on the inside and the outside because that is usually what I'm dealing with while we're filming videos. The first step always has to be a potty break, so we found the restrooms toward the front. Explaining what all the plants and flowers is, is gonna be interesting for me because I'm not a detailed person. I like to look at things and say, wow, that's pretty, but Anthony's more of the detail-oriented person, especially when we're doing our videos. So I'm gonna try my best, but y'all, I, I don't even know how this is gonna go. All right, the potty break has been completed successfully, and now we found an interesting pathway to walk across. First things first for me, if I'm gonna do the exploring and talk about stuff on this video, I'm gonna have to find a map because I don't understand direction and gardens and all of that stuff. I naturally do not have a good sense of direction. So lest I get lost throughout this video, then I'm gonna find where the maps are. Jackpot. So I'm just gonna grab me one of these and this is gonna help me get through this garden. I'm having a hard time keeping up with them. They're running away the whole time. So I'm having to just yell, stay with me through the entire gardens. People are looking at me. Now my main goal with the children is just to get them to the playground because they're not really all that concerned about the flowers and the gardens and stuff. Vivian just wants to go to the playground and Pierce thinks he wants to go to the playground, but really all he ever wants to do on the playground is sit on the bench and eat snacks. But he is starting to play a little more often and at least now he doesn't try to run away from the playground like he used to. All right, we gotta keep him from running off to the road. So as soon as you walk in, there's a visitor center and there's also a shop right um, next to the fountain. And so that's what you see as soon as you walk in. I'll probably go into those here in just a little bit. I'm gonna try to read the map a little bit more and see where everything else is. But it's kind of nice that those two things are right at the entrance. So Hammock Hollow Children's Garden is actually located pretty close to the front of the gardens and it's right behind the entrance buildings according to this map. So I hope we'll know when we're there. Pierce has insisted on pushing the stroller himself. So this is slowing progress way down for Vivian and me. <laughs> Vivian is way ahead of us right now. As he keeps pushing the stroller, the um, diaper bag keeps falling on the ground. So 
I think you're picking that up. I think we're almost to the children's gardens now though. So I went ahead and made my way through the visitor center. I was gonna save that for a little bit later, but I figured I would go ahead and do it. And it actually doubles as a museum that talks about Edward Bach, the founder of the gardens and the tower. And it gave kind of a history behind why he brought it here and what his intentions were. According to what I read, Edward Bach uh, came from the Netherlands, Netherlands over to New York as a child and his idea was that he wanted to create a beautiful winter home in Florida that would inspire people to um, be advocates of nature and calmness and beauty. So he ended up planting all of these plants and trees and putting them all together. It's kind of hard for Pierce to push the stroller through the peat gravel. He ended up creating this beautiful garden, this beautiful area, but the star of this garden is actually the giant tower. He had this beautiful tower built in the middle of the garden, and what's special about it is that he had a friend from London who was a musician who created bells to go up in the tower to kind of create uh, Edward Bach's vision of beauty and serenity and calmness. So along with the gardens, you also can hear beautiful bells in the background from the tower. This is a pretty expansive children's gardens, so we're trying to look for some of the other amenities. I saw that there was a sandbox when we came in, didn't happen to be able to get a video of that yet, but Vivian's found a few things um, to climb on right over here under this giant oak tree. So in the shop area, they have some really cute souvenirs, some books, some cards, some gifts. Right off of the gift shop, they have a plant shop. So you can actually go through and it looks like you can actually purchase these, which is really neat. If you wanna create your own garden, you can get them directly from, from Bach Garden Towers. So that's pretty neat. Anthony plants everything at our house. So I'm sure if he sees this section, then he's gonna be taking a look at these plants. And I don't know, some of them possibly could go home with us. I don't know, we'll see. To be fair, he actually gets most of our plants from the clearance section at Lowe's. So major points to him. And we're off again. Actually, keeping my eye on both children can sometimes be a little bit challenging if I admit that. It's, uh, Vivian is a lot quicker than Pierce, so she's been running laps around this. Yay, the sun finally came out. That makes me really happy. Here go. I actually just passed by the cafe, which is directly behind the plant shop, and it looks really good. A couple of people had some salads and some wraps and some coffee, so it looks like we might be stopping by that cafe a little bit later. But as I follow my map here, got my trusty map, it looks like right now I'm in the pollinator garden. So I guess I should be looking for maybe some butterflies, different bees, things like that. Vivian found a musical instrument to play with. And now Pierce has abandoned the stroller and he is running through somewhere else. There's a fairy garden. So I'm not having any luck seeing any pollinators. So I'm gonna keep on moving, but I guess they're here. That's what the sign says. <laughs> I guess it's not the time of day for them. I managed to convince them to walk together with one another. This. If they can just stay with one another, it sort of simplifies my job a little bit because, you know, it's when you're looking for one child and then the other one and have like a whole bunch of mini panic attacks and strokes the whole time. Does this make me a helicopter parent? That's what I wonder. Okay, so the nice thing about this garden is that once you get past the visitor center and all of that, there's this big giant open area and it's an oval shape and everything kind of branches off, which is nice because then people like me, who are directionally challenged and can't find their way around places, can always come back to this main area where the oval is. So that helps me a lot. So way to go, Bach Tower. I like this. So it looks like the first split off is the Alexander Discovery Center and the kitchen garden and the children's garden. So I'm gonna go down here and see what's down here and then I'm gonna come back. I love that they have this Spanish moss everywhere and all these trees. 
It's so, so pretty. It kind of reminds me of Savannah, Georgia. It's beautiful. I really hope the children let me go to the tower. Like, I really want to go see that sometime. Although, I, you know, maybe at the conclusion of this video, I'll get to go and look at some of the other stuff in the garden. Or um, Elena and I could come back here sometime on a date day, or maybe both. So I'm coming up on the Alexander Discovery Center. So I'm going to see what that is. It looks like the Alexander Discovery Center is for classes and educational purposes. So it's currently not open, but this outdoor kitchen is so neat. I was just reading a sign that said that they hold cooking classes here and um, different things like that, different events. And I think that's so awesome. And the setting is beautiful. I would definitely take a class here. We found a tractor under a barn. So the children are pretty excited about that. Mostly Pierce, like Vivian's pretty excited about it, but Pierce is very excited about it. He wants to play on the tractor. Something really neat that I've noticed here at the outdoor kitchen is that they've put all of the edible plants around the kitchen. So I'll show you. Right outside of the outdoor kitchen, we have a rosemary bush. Here is a stevia plant. Vivian found a tunnel to explore, so she's pretty excited about that. Next to the ginger is garlic chives, Thai ginger. Yeah. Here's a sweet basil plant. And on this side of the outdoor kitchen are all of the other types of plants that you can eat. So for instance, there's a whole bed of collards and there's some onions back there, some Swiss chard. So how cool would it be to come here and take a cooking class and go pick out all of your um, vegetables that you were gonna eat and all of your different seasonings. That'd be so awesome. And then cook them in the outdoor kitchen. That sounds great. Pierce wants to go explore the tunnel now too. Down a little ways from the outdoor kitchen is Hammock Holler, which is a garden that's designed for small children, which I'm guessing my small children are around here somewhere. The kids have let me sit down for a couple of minutes, but it's not lasting very long. Come on, Daddy, let's go. I'm gonna explore. Right when you walk into the children's area, there's a big sand pit. And there's also a small river walk, is what they called it, but basically some pretty smooth rocks that they can walk through. And a couple of small trails that they can walk through as well and look at some plants along the way. She came over to the children's section now. <laughs> I'm filming the children's section. It's part of the garden. I'm following the map. Since Elena has already come over this way anyway, and it is 1122, and the children have actually done really well. I was really surprised that they made it this far. Most of you know that 11 a.m. is lunchtime for us. Um, there's a cafe nearby. We're going to go check that out. No. Come on, Bubby. You want to go eat? No. You want to you stay with the tractor? <laughs> come on. We can come back. Okay. Usually he's a lot more excited about lunch, but I guess we found out that tractors are more important than lunch in Bubby World. That's, that's a new revelation. While we were waiting on the food, we had a minor episode where Pierce tried to make a beeline for where he thought the tractor was. So we chased him down and managed to get him back, yay for that. And um, we, I am having a buffalo chicken wrap. We have a mozzarella caprese salad. Vivian has a hot dog, Pierce has a hot dog, and Elena has a BLT sandwich. It's like a chicken club or chicken BLT, whatever. But all of this comes to $60.99. Wow. <laughs> it was $20 per adult for a mission and children five and under are free. So he paid $40 to get in and then the, this is $60.99. So this would be over $100 for this experience. Bye bye. Mommy, no, no. 
We have finished lunch and Anthony's taking the kids off to do their own thing. I am headed back to my oval. And so it begins. This time I have this one strapped in so that I can just turn him loose when I'm ready. There's a sandbox over here and Vivian has discovered it. Although I'm not really excited about it because I'm sure they're gonna be covered in sand. Time to get loose. You gonna go play in the sand? Here stole Vivian's boots and now he's wandering through the interactive fountain section of the children's garden. Now I'm coming up on the window by the pond, so I'm gonna check that out. And I'm hoping it doesn't rain on me because the forecast says it's supposed to rain this afternoon and technically it is this afternoon. So hopefully it will hold off for me over the next about half an hour. Vivian's doing a pretty good job of staying put now. She found some friends to play with in the sandbox and that's always a hit. Um, Pierce, on the other hand, has escaped to the butterfly garden. Also, I can hear the tower playing the carillon off in the distance, but um, I'm too far away to be able to recognize any of the music. It just kind of sounds like echoing bells. Okay, so this is the window by the pond. So I'm gonna see what's in here. <laughs> okay, looks like we have some benches. Right? Oh, look how pretty. Pretty fire. Pretty fire. To be honest, I was a little worried. I didn't know what was gonna be behind that giant door, but this is beautiful. It's like a little sitting area and you can sit here and watch the pond. It's literally a window by the pond. Down through here is supposed to be a wetland boardwalk. So I'm not sure how far down this path I wanna go because it looks like it goes pretty far. So I don't know, let's see what's down here. Looks like the wetland boardwalk is pretty much just kind of like a, a nature trail and it kind of goes around in a circle so I'm gonna head back this way. I really do think that Edward Bach accomplished his goal of creating this beautiful serene and relaxing environment because the way that this garden is laid out it really does kind of feel like you're sitting in the storybook. <laughs> it really is beautiful the way he sectioned everything off because this section right here is not only beautiful, but it's quiet and it's calm and relaxing. He really outdid himself with the placement of this. It's truly gorgeous. Throughout these paths, it looks like there's more of some different types of ivy and trees, different things like that. So not so much flowers, but um, different types of trees and things like that throughout this area. I actually just saw on my map that there's a rain shelter back there, which that's super convenient. Since it's supposed to rain on me here in just a few minutes, I might make my way there. They were settled in playing pretty good, but now Vivian needs to take another potty break. Um, so we've got to get shoes and socks back on, load them up in the stroller. Thankfully, there is a restroom that's not too far from the children's play area. In this section over here, there's several types of azalea bushes which I can only imagine how beautiful those are during the spring. Yay, I'm coming up on the place with the tower. I'm so excited. But first, we're gonna stop and take a look at this view. Just beyond that lookout is a tribute to Edward Bach. And now we head to the tower. When you first see the tower, like when you come around the corner, it almost takes your breath away. It's so magnificent and spectacular and all of those words that would describe something like this. But it's just truly amazing that this sits in the middle of this garden and it's surrounded by plants and trees and it has this big beautiful pond out in front of it. Body break time was a success, so now it's time to return to the sandbox.
This is a bubble. It's a tortoise. It's a tortoise. Okay. Snake. Bite you. Bite you. Bite you. All right, bud, come on. Let's go back to the sandbox. Okay. Hey, sissy's at the sandbox. Let's go. Okay, that's a fox. It's a fox, come on. He has found a place to sit now. This is his usual position on a playground. <laughs> Surrounding the tower is a big pond. It goes all the way around the tower. And there are koi fish in there and you can actually buy the food to feed the koi fish, which is pretty cool. The property around the actual tower is just breathtaking. There are trees everywhere, there's Spanish moss, there's a lookout that you can sit on the bench and it looks out over the orange groves. It's truly breathtaking. I actually read that their biggest event of the year is Easter sunrise service. So you can purchase tickets to come here at Easter and you drive up in the dark is what it said and they have chairs set out for everyone and you can experience easter sunday with the sun rising in the background right here at bach tower i think that would be so amazing to see all right we have another trip back to the potty this time it's an emergency all right we got that all fixed and now we're heading over to the tractor the tractor is being occupied by some other people. So we're gonna head over here and play and do some other stuff for a little bit. I think we're doing pretty good. We kind of got what I would have considered to be a late start this morning because we didn't leave our area until, I don't know, maybe 8.30 or so. We stopped by Chick-fil-A and got some breakfast and stuff. Um, so I don't think we got here until maybe about 10 or a little later. Um, and then, of course, we've already had lunch, but now it's nap time. Uh, well, I mean, it's 1 p.m., which is usually nap time. And uh, we've already kind of given the kids enough time to run around and play in the children's garden area. And uh, I think Elena might have actually been able to get most of the garden at this point. And it's not raining yet. So we're going to let the kids play a little bit more. The rain was forecasted for about 2 p.m. So I'm hoping that we can kind of finish up by then. And in case you were wondering, the bells in the tower do work. They do go off. It sounds like on the hour. And then um, it sounded like when we pulled up that it was doing like a, um, almost like a song of some kind. So wait, I think that was part of it. You hear that? Okay, so it actually does sing a little song. So that's nice. <laughs> I actually just got the notification that it's going to start to rain and my phone battery is dying. So thankfully I got through the whole garden because it would not be good to miss out on the tower. So I'm glad I got that and I'm glad I can hear the bells ring. It sounds like that the tower is actually playing some songs right now though. And uh, anyway, I really can't hear them very much over here, um, which I mean, it's fine. <laughs> So now that I've seen the tower and I've heard the bells ring, I'm gonna go try to find my family, see what the kids are up to. And most importantly, I'm gonna see if Anthony survived. Did we have so much fun? Good. Mommy, why did you come here for? Because I'm done. I'm done filming all the things. Did you survive? Yeah, it was fine. You, didn't, it's... you didn't lose any kids? <laughs> uh, Pierce is over there. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> A plus. So I just discovered this little paragraph right here that it does the concert at one and three each day. So there you go. That was the one o'clock concert and it looks like they'll do another one at three. 